Hello and welcome to a brand new series on BWV 998 Prelude Fugue and Allegro. We're going to be diving straight into the fantastic first prelude and its first section, the D major section. We're not going to be doing a lot of waffle here, I'm just going to walk through the bars and the fingering as you need them. Let's dive into BWV 998 Prelude by Bach. Right, here we go, bar one. Low D, four, three, four. 10, 9, 10, 10, 8, C natural, half bar 7, 1, 2, and then stay in that position, P, I, M. Now, it's possible to finger bar 2 in two different places. I'm just going to go with mine. I stay here, 4, 2, 10, 8, 10. 1-1, one, one. now here we go, we're going to shift, 3, 1, 2, 4, so making sure that that chord comes out at the end, and then down, 4-2, 3-2, two. 3-2, two. open B, 3-4, three, 3 back up, Two and three on the D and G sharp. Stay in that position. Leave in that open B ringing out. Bar at fourth fret. Four, three, two, three. Open. Hinge bar, second fret. One and two. Four, one, four. Bar off. Three. One, one slides down to get the E in the bass. Open, four, three, open, three. Half bar in the next bar six, and that's where we're gonna end it for this day. Super quick and easy. So we're in D major here, nothing spectacular. The main thing is bar two can be fingered down here. those end three notes. That is bar two, and then obviously bar three as well. But either way you, you figure it, by the time you get to bar four, you need to be here for that D sharp uh, to get the next half of that bar in. It doesn't matter which way you play it. I love this sound here. And then I float down the second string with my voicings until I hit bar um, five in the first position. Main thing is at bar three, I am employing Campanellus to make sure that those chord tones ring over. Three, two, open B, and then I'm leaving that B as long as possible before I put the D and F down. And I'm making sure that those three bass notes, those three bass notes at the end, which I have been consistent about and try to keep on the fourth string, are still on the fourth string to be expressive. So all together, nice and slowly, this looks like. Thank you very much for staying until the end. This has been brought to you by classicalguitarrocks.com. If you like this video, hit the like button, maybe even subscribe to the channel, or head over to classicalguitarrocks.com where you can get the score and all sorts of other goodies for advancing guitarists and a little six string inspiration.